Hey guys, we're here with our week six battle of season three of the NPL, and this week we take on Mr. Blue Victini and his Montreal Monfernos. Uh, Seabass will definitely be down in the description below. Make sure you guys go check him out. He's a very good battler, and I'm proud to say he's definitely one of my best friends in the league, and probably one of my best friends in the Pokemon community, just in general as well. Um, so make sure you guys go check him out. He does a lot of VGC stuff and a lot of league play. So if you're interested in that, this is definitely one of the most knowledgeable guys you can learn from. Uh, but anyways, we will go over what the Monfernos have drafted this season. They have Mega Altaria, Excadrill, Reuniclus, Shaman, Tyranitar, which is his Zemon, Keldeo, Eselgor, Talonflame, Golbat, Lantern, and the Lord himself, Regigigas. Um... I, I, I'm the Reno Regis, and I still don't have the cojones to actually draft Regigig, so definitely props to see past on that one. Uh, my team, real quick, if you did not know, is Mega Scizor, Landorus Incarnate, Volcanion, which is my Zemon, Sylveon, Conkelder, Komala, Roserate, Tyrantrum, Mesprit, Lipard, and Frostlass. Um, looking at this matchup, this is a very kind of 50-50 matchup in my opinion. He has a lot of things that beat my team. I have a lot of things that he beat his team. So it's really going to come down to play. Um, I think Seabass is one of the best preppers in this league, if preppers is a word. Um, so I think we both are committed to this solid prep. And it's going to take a lot of play and a lot of kind of intricacies to get a W this week. Uh, we're coming off a pretty rough week last week, um, taking a 4-0 loss. So I kind of want to bounce back, get back into the W column. Um, there are currently five teams in, in um, my conference, the Moon Conference, um, that are 3-2. and two, And only four of those get to make playoffs, so I, I got to stay on top as best I can. Uh, so the first mod on this team is going to be, as soon as I find my mouse, uh, Gaia, our Landorus, holding the Life Orb with the ability Sheer Force, has the moves Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Knockoff, and Super Power with 68 Attack, 188 Special Attack, and 252 Speed with a Naive Nature. I need uh, to be max speed so that I guarantee that I outspeed Non-Scarf Shaman if he brings that. Um, Earth Power annihilates Excadrill. It's also pretty good for General Stab. Um... It hits things like Tyranitar. It's a Oko versus most Tyranitars. But if he brings like an AV Tyranitar, especially with the sand, he can actually live Earth Powers. So that's why we have the superpower there. Um, to guarantee that we kill the Tyranitar, unless it's like max defensive. In which case, I doubt he's going to bring that. Um, Sludge Wave is mostly for the Altaria and the Shaman. Knockoff is for the uh, Reuniclus. And superpower, as I said, is for the Tyranitar. Uh, but he doesn't have anything that particularly resists all these moves. Um, except for Talonflame, which I don't know how well, like how likely Talonflame is going to be coming to this matchup. I mean, I do have a Conkler and a Rose Raid that kind of lose to Talonflame like instantly. But I have a lot of good answers to Tal um, Talonflame, and I have a lot of good ways to revenge him as well. So I I'm kind of 50-50 about Talonflame coming. I really, I'm leaning more towards it's not coming. Um, if I definitely had to predict six months he's bringing, I think it's going to be Altaria, Excadrill, Reuniclus, Tyranitar, Keldeo, and Golbat. Um, he might replace one of those with Regigigas for the memes. Um, Shaman might come, but I'm kind of not really expecting it that much. I, f I feel like I have a lot of answers to Shaman on my team. Uh, so I don't think that's going to come. So we'll just move on to the next mod, which is going to be Rock, Paper, Our Mega Scizor, holding the Scizor right with the ability Technician, has the moves Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Defog, and Roost. With 252 HP, 68 attack, and 188 defense with an impish nature, that amount of defense investment allows me to... I wouldn't say comfortably, but it allows me to technically take, um, two... Life Orb, Max Attack, Adamant, Earthquakes from the Excadrill, so especially if he's in the sand. Um, he has a few reasons to not be clicking uh, Earthquake, so this is my best answer to it, besides the fact that I have the immunity with Landorus, but I mean, Iron Head bops me, Rock Slide bops me. So I don't have good answers to Drill besides this, and even then, um, if I'm not Mega Evolved yet, I can't, I, it's a roll to take two. Um, it, it all depends on if his investment and rolls. But if I am Mega Evolved already, I am guaranteed to live at least two. Unless he gets a crit, of course, or he's running, like, banded, I guess. Because I calc max tag at him at Life Orb. So, those are the scenarios where he doesn't, uh, where he doesn't 3-hit KO me. 
Um, bullet punches for General Stab, it pretty much needs to come because he has a Mega Altaria, and if I can't let Mega Altaria get out of hand, Bullet Punch will absolutely annihilate that thing. It's an Oko versus most Altarias, um, and will 2 hit KO the other Altarias with, you know, pr a little bit of prior chip damage. We're looking good with Bullet Punch. Um, I can't let that thing get out of hand with things like Dragon Dance or Cotton Guard. Um, overall, Altar Altaria is just a nuisance, and I kind of want to keep that thing at bay as best I can. Uh, U-turn is for the sake of initiative. Defog is because of getting rid of hazards. Um, having hazards away from my side of the field is going to be pretty pivotal this week. Uh, it's pivotal every week, let's be honest. And Roost is for the sake of recovery. So, uh, pretty standard defensive scissor set. It seems like this is the same scissor set that I bring every week, but it's whatever. It's what I need to do. Um, next mod on this team is going to be Pompeii, our Volcanion, holding the Poisonium Z with the ability Water Absorb. Has the move Steam Eruption, Superpower, Sludge Wave, and Toxic. With 140 HP, 4 attack, 4 defense, 252 special attack, and 108 speed with a rash nature. Rash, if you did not know, is plus special attack minus special defense. Um, superpower will Oko most forms of Tyranitar. Um, if he's decently defensive invested, um, I won't Oko him with superpower, but a combination of superpower and steam eruption will kill him, unfortunately. Uh, pretty much any stone edge kills me. That's assuming he hits the stone edge. Um, Steam Eruption is for General Stab. We don't have Fire Stab this week because his only Fire Weak Mons are Excadrill, which is weak to Steam Eruption. Shaman, which I have a plan for. And I believe that's it. Those are his only Fire Weak Mons, so I don't necessarily need Fire Stab because I really don't think Shaman is coming and Steam Eruption is way better against the Drill anyways. Uh, we have Z Sludge Wave because that will Oko um, Altaria, if not bring it down to about 7% health, which a chip from literally anything will kill. Um, it will... Oko, some forms of Shaman, but not all. It's to the point where it does a lot to Shaman, but it's not a guaranteed Oko. Um, and Toxic is just for toxicing things in general. Um, he has a pretty good switch into this in Altarius. Toxicing that thing wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, especially because that entices him to click Heal Bell versus me, and that's an opportunity to uh, click Z Sludge Wave. Um, another decent switch in is uh, Keldeo. Just because he uh, resists my dual stab naturally, assuming I had Water and Fire Stab. So that would be a decent switch, intoxicating that thing uh, would be beneficial in cases like some kind of a subset. Um, and Regigigas is bulky. If he brings that, toxicing that thing wouldn't be a bad idea either. Um, I really hope he brings Altaria and I kind of catch it off guard with this Poison EMZ Sludge Wave because I think that would be funny as fuck and really fun to see. <laughs> but anyways, the next one on this team is going to be Gronk, our Conkledor, holding the Fist Plate with the ability Iron Fist, has the moves Drain Punch, Knock Off, Mock Punch, and Ice Punch with 244 HP, 252 attack, 12 defense, and an adamant nature. Um, I'm sorry, this is actually a uh, mistake on the layout. He is not an adamant nature, he's a brave nature. Um, the re and with zero IVs and speed, and I forgot to mention that on the layout, and I just remember that I did that. Uh, but the reason I do that is just because in case he brings Trick Room Reuniclus, then inside the Trick Room, I outspeed everything on his team except the Reuniclus. Um, whereas, it, it, I mean, there's no reason to not do this because I'm never going to outspeed anything unless I invest in myself to outspeed, uh, I believe, Lantern would be the next slowest thing other than Reuniclus at base 67. No, Tyranitar would be at 61, and that thing dies to a Mach Punch. Um, so unless I wanted to EV myself to outspeed Lantern, it's not necessary. So that's why I went Brave Nature with zero IV. Uh, just in case he wants to set up the Trick Room, I'm able to kill the Reuniclus um, and put in some serious work with Conkledor. I'm not forced to lock, um, go for Mach Punch. I can go for Drain Punches instead. Uh, with the Fist Plate, Drain Punch does a good chunk um, to most Reuniclus' sets. Uh, it does about 25%, which is enough, um, especially since Reuniclus is pretty bulky. Um, knockoff is obviously for the Reuniclus. Um, Drain Punch absolutely annihilates Drill. It does a good chunk to it. Uh, Oko's Tyranitar in pretty much every scenario. Does a lot to the Regigigas if he decides to bring that. Um, knocking off Golbat's uh, Eviolite would definitely be very beneficial as well. Um, Ice Punch is for the likes of Altaria, Shaman, and Golbat most notably. Um... Most of the time, I'm probably going to click Drain Punch and uh, Mock Punch, but it depends on what he decides that his switch in is going to be to Gronkowski, uh, our Conkle Durr. Um, so whether or not Knock Off or Ice Punch will be the better play to go for. Uh, so that is our Conkle Durr set this week. The next mod on this team is going to be Sylveon Dovakin, holding the choice specs with the ability Pixelate. Has the moves Hyper Voice, Psy Shock, HP Fire, and Heal Bell. With 228 HP, 248 special attack, and 32 speed with a modest nature, that little bit of speed is to outspeed um, minimal speed invested Tyranitar. 
And just in case he runs like a little bit of speed, to, uh, outspeed like no speed, Sylveon and you know, etc, etc. Um, Hyper Voice absolutely does a serious chunk to almost all of his team. He has Drill that resists it, which does not want to catch an HP fire. Um, he has Talonflame that resists it, which I don't think is coming. And he has Golbat, which is what Psyshock is for. Psyshock will 2-hit KO specially defensive. Golbat sets, it will Oko, or I'm sorry, 3-hit KO physically defensive sets. If I knock off his EV Light, it's guaranteed to 2-hit KO no matter what. I even sometimes Oko. Um, I got sick of running <laughs> defensive uh, Sylveon, so we decided to go Specs this week. Heal Bell is just because I could have ran Shadow Ball for the Reuniclus, but I didn't think it was necessary. Hyper Voice still 2 Hikeo's most Reuniclus sets. Um, Shadow Ball is only doing barely more because of my Pixelate boost, so I didn't think it was necessary. Um, and so I threw Heal Bell on it just in case I'm in a scenario where I need to Heal Bell something that's been poisoned or burned. Um, m maybe my Specs has been knocked off, something like that where heal bell becomes more useful um i didn't need the extra coverage that's why i went with it uh the final mod on this team is actually going to be the first appearance of selena kyle our lipard holding the focus sash with the ability prankster has the moves knockoff u-turn rain dance and assist with 44 hp 252 attack 212 speed with a jolly nature that amount of speed guarantees that i outspeed i believe shaman um Knockoff will do a number to his team. Nothing on his team really appreciates being knocked off except the Altaria, and I can U-turn out on that thing. No problem. Um, assist is honestly just because I didn't need a fourth move. I could have potentially gone with Prankster Toxic, but um, I could be in a scenario where I need Lipard to do some damage and it's not fast enough, like I'm facing the... Uh, like he has a Scar Keldeo or something, or I'm facing Keldeo at all. I can go for assist, um, which would do more damage to... Pretty much would do a lot more damage with whatever move I get for the most part. Um, the knockoff or U-turn would be doing. And Rain Dance is because I have Prankster. Now, if it's ever in a scenario where Tyranitar is dead and Drill is about to run through my team, I can go into Lipard, no problem, click Rain Dance, and Drill just became way less of a threat instantly, just like that. Um, drill, Sand Rush Drill outside of the sand is good, but it's in the sand that makes it excellent. So this is my opportunity to try to limit that. Uh, drill is currently at 17 kills in five weeks which is ridiculous so there's no doubt in my mind it's coming and there's no doubt in my mind that Seabass is going to try to find ways to get this thing killed um so this i don't have good answers to it but this is a good way to definitely help my team support uh, against drill so i can potentially rain dance um get rid of the sand he knocks me down to my sash i click knock off maybe get rid of his life orb um then he kills me i can go into landris and revenge easily no problem um, so that is going to be the team we are rocking for this week six battle of the NPL season three. If you guys did enjoy this video, a like and a subscription would be much appreciated. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our battle against the Montreal Monferno. So see you guys on Monday when the battle happens and I'll see you guys then. I said that a lot later.